What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video, and today we are bringing some more games on Pokemon Showdown. Sorry to the people that do not enjoy the Pokemon Showdown content, today was not going to be a Pokemon Showdown video, but when I was breeding I messed up and I'm on a time crunch and I'm mad about it, but you can only, you know, mold over something for so long before you just go and play some games. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to play some games with this team. Porygon Z, Clefairy, Incineroar, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Rillaboom, G-Max, and Tyranitar. The team is really solid. I think it only has a couple of hard matchups. And I tried my hardest to patch up those hard matchups. So if this team looks cool to you, Pace will be down in the description. I'm making this team in-game. So soon we'll have a rental code. I'll have a rental code probably Thursday. Maybe this weekend. One of the two. Probably Thursday. But yeah. We're going to play some games of this, so enjoy. If we see Ice Lead, um, then Tyranitar in the back is just really strong. And nothing threatens Porygon Z with that as well. And honestly, nothing on his team really threatens Porygon Z. So I think leading Porygon Z and Clefairy, bringing Tyranitar in the back, and then one more heavy hitter. Maybe Incineroar, since it stops the, it makes Snorlax like, less good. Same with uh, both the other guys. Rillaboom and Incineroar. We definitely max strike into the Snorlax since if it maxes, it's not really that big of a problem. But if it just goes for Belly Drum, then we're not in the greatest position. If we see Ally Switch Belly Drum, then I mean, that's... Follow Me just doesn't really feel right. So I think Helping Hand is the way to go, especially since he's probably going to either Fake Out and... But we'll see now. Ally Switch or Fake Out. So it was Ally Switch, which is what we really didn't want to see. Um, but our damage output is still really solid. So I'm still not too worried. Well, Rillaboom's most likely just going to fake out this turn anyway, right? So I guess we helping hand. I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to take the knockout, so I just wanted to be very safe. I think we still would have done it without helping hand, but I wanted to be just as safe as possible. Rillaboom's also really slow now, and it's not a really a big threat. And Incineroar didn't get to do anything Intimidate-wise, since we, sp we still have Tyranitar and Incineroar in the back. Rillaboom is definitely more of the threat, so we're just going to keep follow me and and, uh, and dealing with Rillaboom. Rillaboom does live thanks to that knockoff taking off the... Uh... Rillaboom does live thanks to the knockoff. Still just going to go for Ice Beam, follow me, and just hope to take out Rillaboom. And we do get it because he doesn't go for Protect. Does take out the Clefairy, but we're not really worried at this point because Tyranitar plus Porygon Z just deals with this completely fine. So that was a good game. We're definitely bringing Tyranitar since it just walls out Porygon Z completely, and we can also change the rain. And then we'll bring Rillaboom in the back since it deals with the rain core really well, and doesn't really have much problems dealing with like opposing Rillaboom and stuff. Helping Hand Max Strike might take out opposing Porygon Z, and I'm not entirely sure about damage calcs, but we also might just lose the speed tie and then die ourselves. And that's what happens, which is really unfortunate for us. If we would have faked tears or follow me, then we'd be in an unbelievably better position, obviously. I think that was a really risky play that he made, um, but it did end up working out in his favor very well, so oh well. And we shouldn't take this knockout of Porygon Z. It's very close. And with the Life Orb ticks and Sandstorm ticks, it's very, very close, but we just don't see it. Rillaboom will be able to take the knockout, but at what cost? Glide into Porygon Z, but it's most likely just going to max guard. He doesn't go for the max guard, which is pretty interesting, um, but he does parting shot Rillaboom, and we're already minus one attack of Tyranitar as well. So, yeah, I mean, this game is pretty much a wrap. We have zero damage output. We did hit a crit, though, on the Incineroar, which is really big. So he still has a Lolan Persian. What's his last Pokemon? Probably Rillaboom. We're in a really bad position. We'll see what happens off of this, but he's probably just going to Parting Shot into my Rillaboom. He fake outs, which is, you know, a good play. Knock off Rillaboom. Burning Jealousy is really good here. It's not insane, but it's good. We got a crit once again, which is actually insane, but Rillaboom's about to faint, so it doesn't matter. He has Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide, I believe, would take it out, so he doesn't even go for it, but it doesn't matter. Whatever attack he uses will knock it out. That was a really good game, and we misplayed really bad turn one not going for follow me. 
we'll get one last game here with uh against this dude playing some pretty cool stuff he's got the hall lucha sylveon core that we saw very early um the quick attack weakness policy was pretty cool he has a uh, trick room but doesn't really have anything really good for trick room and then he also has venusaur not really um any way to set sun so pretty interesting team here We've got Cliff Fairy, Porygon Z. I, I don't think I really want to stray from this lead here either. We're going to go for Follow Me Max Strike, even though the Inteleon, um, you know, does have Snipe Shot. But I still think we're in a pretty good position doing that. He goes for a Substitute, which is actually really insane. Um, that makes it, like, really hard to deal with because the Inteleon, we just have to, you know, waste turns now. We'll Follow Me Max Strike once again, but this time into the Hallucha. And then if Inteleon goes for sub, it may just be something very annoying that we have to deal with throughout the game. Fast substitute Inteleon is pretty interesting. So we see Snipeshot this time, and Halucha's gonna max Airstream in. Surprisingly, not a Knuckle, but it is what it is. We do take out his Halucha and get rid of his speed control from the Inteleon, which is good. Rillaboom threatens his Inteleon immensely with Grassy Glide, and we outspeed Sylveon with Porygon Z. So we're looking to be in a pretty good position max strike into the sylveon he does switch which was the correct play i still just I, I still completely agree with my grassy glide play but now sylveon is gone venusaur is not very fast and he's just got a inteleon that loses to rillaboom here and venusaur can't pressure the rillaboom nearly enough so yeah i think it's pretty much over he probably he protects inteleon definitely this turn he just quit anyway okay anyway that is going to be it for the video thank you so much for watching if you liked this kind of content go down to the comment section say hey nice vid tell me whatever you want to like comment subscribe join my discord follow me on twitter do all of those things i would love it if you did any amount of those things it makes my day brighter anyway like i said more cartridge battle videos to come i messed up my clefairy i finished it i ev trained it i trained it May, I gave, made him my best friend so he would evolve and then it, uh, it was magic guard instead of friend guard because I don't know how to read um, Anyway, that is gonna be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye